I'm live and I'm alive right across the floor welcome to the midday musings <laughs> Ooh. I like to reggae but you just too fast for me Man, come on. Tell your name is Okay, so hello viewer. Make sure that if you pop in that you're letting me know where you're viewing from. And also just drop a comment so I can know who you are. Um, I am streaming to Twitch. <clears throat> and then two different locations on the Facebook right now. That's what I'm doing right now. And they left because people like to peep and creep and they don't want to tell you what they're looking at you from. But it's all good. Deep in the... Somebody told me that they were going to follow on Twitch because they had requested me to sing a song. But I have yet to see that person follow me on the Twitch. So if you are going to make a request, whether it be a song or a dance, you need to follow me on the Twitch because that's where it's going to take place. All right. So, yes. Today, we do have the beginning of the Mercury retrograde shadow period. And also some other interesting astrology this week. We have Uranus going retrograde on the 24th. And that's going to be taking place until next year, January. And so, like, that's not necessarily going to, um, you know how, like, when Mercury goes retrograde, you can just, like, feel it so heavily, and it's so annoying. When the outer planets retrograde, it's more of a wave. And with Uranus being in Taurus, you don't know I've been talking about this probably for the last two weeks, just because I see people, oh, I see people doing things financially and just in the material. I'm like, baby, that is not going to make you rich, but okay. <clears throat> but um, with Uranus being in Taurus, it's definitely going to shake people up um, economically. And I'm looking forward to it to be honest, because I like to see the changes. And it also helps with like trends and in strategy and branding and marketing. Cause like right now I'm noticing that people who like me sell services are needing to pivot that a little bit. And so that's what I'm going to be doing too. But, um, People are really spending their money on what makes them feel good or makes them feel rich, you know, which I can understand, but looking rich and being rich are two different things. Okay. So take that how you want to take it. I'm supposed to be babysitting my grandbaby, but I don't even know where the doll is. I have the playpen. I don't know even know where the doll is. It is the first day of school. So my daughter was like, I want you to watch my baby. And I was like, that ain't how this is about to go, sis. Then I have this is about to go. 
I'm not about to send you off and then be watching your baby. But anyway, so I'm just painting my nails real quick. This is the kind of stuff I do in my alone time is to paint my nails. So I'm doing that real quick. And I think I'm going to pull some cards and talk about today's energy, which I have the Ten of Cups in reverse. We a choice. And, you know, that's kind of giving me, hello, viewer. You want to tell me who you are or where you're viewing from? You don't have to. Some people don't like to say. People be trying to act like they don't uh, like me, you know, but it's all good. Okay. Um, so today I have Mercury retrograde shadow. Mercury opp opposition with Neptune exact. Mars square sun, which that has just started because I think it's actually going to be exact later in the week. Um, and then still Jupiter trying Venus and then also Pluto trying Mercury. So really just Mercury acting very much busy in the cosmos. <clears throat> but here's what I wrote. There's some confusion about what you actually desire. You could feel off balance because what you want feels impossible. But no, that is a lie. Try to find your focus to get back on track. So that's why I said fixing your focus in the caption or the the title of this video. And I feel like my son has on the heat. I don't know why, but I'm I'm feeling rather warm. Um also the reason why I put that is because my overall card for the week was the two of pentacles in reverse. So it was feeling like there is a need to readjust and fix your focus. And then also, we have a new moon at the end of the week in the sign of Virgo. So I was just really feeling led to talk about, you know, fixing your focus and your foundation and that kind of thing. If you feel like what you're doing isn't working, you've got to do something else. And I do it too. So that's why I said whenever I was talking previously just about, you know, service providers needing to kind of change up what it is that they're providing in times in which people are spending their money a little bit differently because i mean if they feel like they don't need what you're selling they're not gonna buy it honey you know so okay i just saw a knot and i know that these knots not going to start playing in my face look we went a long time without seeing any i don't know if i told y'all my story of i have been fighting knots for a long time and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And it was like, I felt attacked and assaulted and under some sort of abuse. And so finally I went in my daughter's room and I was like, there's a lot of naps in here. There must be something in here. And she was like, oh, uh, yeah, I, I think I know what it is. So she goes underneath the dresser. And she gives me like a yogurt cup. And I was like, Kayla, you know, you got to throw this away. You can't have this. And also, you're not supposed to be eating upstairs. So a couple of days go by and I'm still seeing hell of a gnats in there. And I was like, man, there's something else going on in this room. So I'm standing at the lingerie chest. And there was like a little bitty spider, which I have never seen like the type of spiders in our house ever there was a little spider in there and it was jumping from drawer to drawer. And I was like, the spider trying to let me know. So I opened up the bottom drawer and I screamed because there was a Chinese food container that had probably rice in it. And it had been in there for a long time. And of course it was like nap sex festival. And they were just in there like, we live in this bitch. So that was a couple weeks ago. So anyway, it's gotten better, but I still get triggered when I see that. All right. So let's pull some cards just to see what the energy of the day is based on the cards. I am calling in the support of my angels, ancestors, guides, ascended masters, my heavenly father, my creator who lives in me. Hallelujah. I'm at peace. I'm at ease. Ooh, I agree to, uh, wait, 
I got distracted. <clears throat> I honor and see myself. I agree to find the path, stay the course, trust the process, and enjoy the journey. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, that eight of spades came out. It got me fucked up. Mostly because that's the card of having yourself fucked up. It's like unnecessary fears and restrictions. Like it lines up with the eight of swords in the tarot deck. So the eight of swords is like a person standing alone in a circle of swords tied up like they're in a, a prison, but the rope does not have a knot in it and there's nobody else there. So the message of that card is you are holding yourself hostage and you could be free provided you would let yourself be. Amen. So that's what it is. All right. And then I've got three of spades and the king of hearts. I feel like, and this has been coming up for a couple weeks, but I feel like people are afraid to try new or to proceed forward. However, they're being called to move. But it's mostly because of what has happened in the past and their history with certain things. So like instead of saying, OK, well, I'm just going to try this new thing. I'm going to allow myself to be free right here. I'm going to not do it because when I was five years old, they told me I couldn't have ice cream and I believe them. So now I just don't feel like I deserve anything good. And like, imagine you at your big age being grown and not allowing yourself to have nice things because you're holding on to some old ass memory. Imagine that. But sometimes, and I feel like I know who this is for. I'm not even sure if he's going to see this. But sometimes you have to go back to the past energetically to visit times in order to heal them. And people don't like to do that either. And I understand because it hurts, you know, reliving those moments. But it's like you have to be able to look at it. You have to be able to look at it and tell the truth to it so that you can really be like, okay, you know what? So this was a, a, a terrible time in my life and this was a catastrophe. And maybe I almost died. But what did I really learn from it? What was I supposed to learn from it? Maybe you don't take the lesson in the moment, especially if, if whatever you're reliving has happened to you as a child or, you know, a youth. But there are lessons in every single thing that happens. There are lessons in every single thing that happens. And until you allow yourself to try again, it could be relationships, it could be um, stepping out in business, it could just be, you know, um, hell, being yourself, whatever the thing is, until you put some effort into that and really try again, you just won't know, you know, and it's like, don't be afraid of experiences. You can't live life if you're afraid of experience. That's what it's about. That's what this thing is about. Like, I feel like I'm going to have to continue to reiterate that fact. Life is about experiences. So can you say that you've lived if you haven't really had any? And I'm not saying that, like, you have to live a life of chaos to have experiences. Maybe like me, because I have, honey. But like, I'm not ashamed of any of that shit. All that stuff taught me something. All of it. And I'm grateful for it. All right, so what else we got? Let's get some tarot cards. And then I have to go back to work. I've been at the orthodontist. There's the judgment card. And the ten of swords. My favorite thing. The death and rebirth experience. Allowing yourself to be reborn, becoming somebody new, becoming a better version of yourself. 
becoming who you were designed to be. Let's get the show on the road. Becoming who you were designed to be. Like, I think that's just the base of it. Like, don't be afraid to live, to have fun, to vibe. And I know I talk about my dance videos a lot, but like, I mean, that is a really excellent example of just having fun. I just have fun with it. Like, it doesn't have to have any super, oh my God, look at it. Came on out of there. <laughs> Stop being afraid to live. Look at this bitch by herself in, in the circle of swords. Like, oh my God. And even though that's water, I'm calling it pee. I'm calling it pee down there. She pissed herself from fear and she's got nothing to be afraid of. <sighs> Silly fool. But I mean, it's humanity, right? It's humanity. Okay, so if you're viewing this right now, leave me a comment. Let me know. Are you afraid of something? Do you have something you're supposed to be doing, but you're not doing? The Ace of Pentacles. I think I pulled that card for later in the week. That card has a lot to do with starting small and just getting out there. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I can't do blah, blah, blah until I have X, Y, Z. Like I know this guy who's, I don't know, he like went, got a massage table, but like he said, he's not a licensed masseuse. So I'm like, why are you not gonna, going to get the license if you need the license and you have the table? And I feel like it's partly so that he can say, well, I have a table, but I can't do any massages because I don't have the license. If I would have been able to get my license, I would have been able to be able to get the only person that's stopping you from getting a damn license is you. Like people have these experiences and they put themselves in these positions so that they can intentionally complain about the shit that they can't do. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. Nobody wants to hear it. Like, I know we don't all have money to buy trainings and um, certificates. Okay. <clears throat> so like save your money. If you know it costs you um, $150 to do something, stop going to the bar or stop going to go up to the Canes and buy chicken strips. Save your money for what you want. I used to have a coaching client who sacrificed an addiction to Starbucks or something like that so that she could work with me and pay her monthly fee. So if you really want to do something, you're going to do it. And that's really it. If you really want to do something, you're going to do it. I see somebody left. And we got the chariot in reverse. The chariot in reverse. More standing still. Yeah, but... They said I have to this and that or I won't. I don't want to hear that shit. Okay. And I was about to say. It's like people feel like they have to have certain things before they can start. Just like I was talking about that guy and his certificate, etc. whatever. Here's the four of cups with this person sitting there with these three cups. Okay, I'm on the wrong side. These three cups in front of them. And then this cup is just like, hey, do you see me? Can you pay attention right now? Are you able to acknowledge this? This fourth cup is things like your skills and abilities, things that you haven't been paying attention to because it's not what society said was required to start or do the thing that you want to do. So instead of allowing these other people to project onto you and decide when you'll be successful, you could, you could go decide it for yourself. And I just want to tell y'all over the next few months, I'm probably going to be talking more shit because planets. So because Mars went into Gemini and <laughs> I'm going to get a big boost because my moon and my rising sign are Gemini. And so I'm a communicator and I'm going to be talking. 
and showing up and I'm going to be telling the truth. So, you know, I hope it's not too hard for people to take. But again, just like people keep jumping off, you don't have to watch. You don't have to be here. But I am going to continue to give the game because that is what I came here to do. So, yes. Fixing your focus. Paying attention to what you've created. I feel like I wrote that in the book for this week. Yes. Paying attention to what you've already created. There's two things to that. One thing. You can see that your focus and your energy have created chaos a lot of time in your life. Like that was how I figured out what, well, damn, if I can make this for my life, if my life can be like this based on my choices, my decisions, my energy and my focus, what could my life be like if I fix that? What would my life be like if I decided to be more positive in it? Instead of every day waking up, showing up, saying, oh, this sucks. I hate it. Uh, it's terrible. I can't believe this is my life. Oh, my God. I just want to kill myself. All these really disgusting things. If I could just change that, what would my life look like if I was able to encourage myself instead of discourage myself every damn day? Okay. So, yes, paying attention to what you've already created there, but also looking at what good you've done looking at what you've built. What are your skills? Every skill you have, you can take it and apply it to what it is that you're now trying to create and trying to go do. Every single thing that you have done in your life, you can apply to what you're trying to do now. You just got to be able to focus on it correctly. Oh, the strength card in reverse. You got to know where your strength comes from. You have to know where your strength comes from. And I feel like, look at that devil card. Just allowing the devil to run your projections but also to live rent-free in your mind with those negative thoughts, just like the ones I was talking about, just like the ones that I was talking about. But that lets me hit my point of you've got to know where your strength comes from, the divine. If you don't have a relationship with the divine, it's going to be hard to live here, especially right now, especially right now, as people are pretending not to be struggling pretending that life is not hard, pretending that their light bill is not 500 damn dollars. You know, if you trust the divine, then you will be taken care of. But if you sit and worry about everything all day long, oh, how am I going to figure this out? What am I going to do? Oh, I said I wanted to do this, but I don't have the capital and I don't have this and that. Baby, you have to figure it out. You have to figure it out. And Figuring it out means sit your eyes down somewhere and get connected so you can get the message. The king of swords in reverse. Okay. I don't want to say that, but I'm going to say it. Just like I said about fixing your focus and paying attention to uh, where you're spending your money. We're talking about, oh, I don't have money for this. I don't have money for that. Are you able to be disciplined? Are you able to be disciplined with yourself? Do you have to be out every time? Do you have to always? You have to buy the most expensive thing every time you go somewhere. Like there is something to be said for treating yourself. Yeah, like don't get me wrong. You do want to do that. But at the same time, if you have a goal or something that you are working towards, you're going to have to be disciplined in it. And, and it might not even be financial. It could be a health goal. It could be, um, shit, just a regular spiritual routine that you want to set. You have to be disciplined in it. You have to be disciplined in it. And three of swords in reverse. That's the second time that card came up. So just now when I pulled that card out, I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing somebody like sitting somewhere 
feeling sorry for themselves because they don't have what they want, but they also don't know how to get it, but they also don't want to make any changes. Like this is an ideal time for you to be setting up a new routine and deciding that you're going to change things. Damn, the devil card again, that you're going to change things. And a new mindset is key. A new mindset is key. A new mindset is key. So like, instead of being like, well, I've always done this. I've always been addicted to this. I've always used this as a crutch. This is the way I've always done it. Do something different. Damn. Like, stop using your past as an excuse to be mediocre. And sometimes, excuse me, but sorry as fuck. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm stopping. I wish you would tell me who you are. You've been here the whole time, viewer. Okay, one more. Uh, the Nine of Wands in reverse. Man, okay. So I was just writing down some stuff about my um customer avatar and um one of the things about me and about these people is this refusal to accept help to ask for help to be able to receive help mostly because like you know you've done a lot you've accomplished a lot you've been able to withstand a lot you've been stretched a lot you that nigga, in other words. But like, there is no reward in dying because you did everything by yourself. And I just really feel like if people were able to see that like letting other people help them is the easiest way to move forward, they would do just that. They would move forward. So I feel like overall we have stopped being afraid to try again. Stop being afraid to try again. To trust. To trust. To trust. To trust. Big thing. Trust issues for people. Again, it doesn't have to be relationships. It could just be just trying again. Like, and some people, their wound when it comes to this is like something as ridiculous as like trying hopscotch or double dutch as a kid and, and everyone laughed. And so like, you don't do what you could do because you're holding on to that. Like when I talk about going to the past and cleaning this shit up, I am sincere because it can really stop you from being a productive adult. Like, not you letting something that happened in 1996 halt your progress in life in 2022. What? Come on, man. Grow up. Grow up. Like, I mean, I'm and I'm not um, outside of that. Oh, my internet is acting up now. Welcome to the shadow period. Um, but I was going to say, hopefully, I'm watching on this side to see if it's acting up. Um, me even doing these live streams, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it because... Um, probably that dance recital or something else that made me feel like nobody wants to hear what I have to say. People don't like me. Probably um, trying out for GT in third grade and they were like, you're not gifted and talented. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not gifted and talented. <laughs> I'm stupid. Because I didn't get picked for gluing together fucking popsicle sticks 
and so didn't want to live stream because I felt like I wasn't gifted and talented. Okay. Okay. So like, that's what I'm talking about. Breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. This is what we're talking about. Trusting the divine. In order for you to do any of the things that you want to do, including healing, you've got to trust. Healing is a big thing right now. It's very popular among everyone. And people are talking about healing. And me too. I'm healing. But are you really? Are you really? Because if you're not doing your shadow work, then you're not doing a thorough job. And when I say shadow work, what am I talking about? I'm talking about revisiting times like I tried out for GT and they didn't pick me. And bringing myself that is still sitting in the cafeteria at Lakewood Elementary School pouting because she didn't get chosen and bringing her to 2022 so that she can be a grown woman. That's what I'm talking about. You know, there are parts of yourself that you are avoiding that need to be healed and need to be gathered. They need to be gathered. These parts of self need to be gathered because they stop you from living. It's almost like you trying to walk with somebody tripping you on purpose. And it's you. The blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration time. And when I talk about shadow work, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about integration. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes. Get into your shadow work. So maybe some of y'all, instead of trying to focus so much on what you need to do out here, you need to focus a little bit on what you need to do up in here and up here. Because I love what you do to me. Do you love what you feel? Because you got to love what you feel. <laughs> you must love it. You must accept it. And, and this is a really good time for this. And I think I'm going to do a workshop on Sunday morning. If I could ever go make a graphic and put it together. But <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to do a workshop on Sunday morning where I'm going to help people set intention for the new moon. But I want to be really, really specific and strategic about this one because Virgo is about getting it together, right? Organizing routines, that sort of thing. So like, yes, love what you feel. But if you don't love it, then go and change it. Go and change it. And the thing is, is that unfortunately you won't know what you're trying to change or what you want to change until you look at it. So you have to look at it. You have to look at it. So. Uh oh. Hex. Be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. So, yes, I feel like a lot of people, and like we were talking about, you know, not wanting to move forward or try again because of stuff that's happened in the past. If you, and this is a thing for me too, just like I was saying, every time I would get up and I would do like this and I would, and I would get excited and I would be like, okay, I'm about to vibe. Somebody would be like, you need to go sit your ass down somewhere right now. Go sit down. And I would be like, <laughs> Fine. But it stopped me from dancing on Instagram. It stopped me from showing up on live stream. And I had this fear of like, I guess members of my family popping up in my comments, like go sit down. Cause that's who it was. But like that didn't happen. You know what I mean? So you've got to just move forward and you do have to allow the people who are hating on you. Cause it's going to be some haters. Like, let's not pretend that everybody means you uh, well and wants you to succeed because that is not true. And I had that 
um, incorrect belief for a long time. And when people started showing up in my experience and bringing that energy, I was like, what is this about though? Because I don't understand. I've been nothing but friendly to you. I love you, whatever, whatever. It don't be you, but you got to let them show themselves so you can cut it off, cut it off. So you won't know. You won't know who it is until you step out there. You got to do your first front flip before the person will pop up and be like, that wasn't good um, because you didn't. That's how you know. So you got to do your first front flip for the haters to show up. You got to do it. I really miss the bookstore. I really do. And I don't want to drive all across town to go to high price books. I really don't. There's that financial discipline card again. It's a big thing, especially right now, especially right now. Everybody needs to be real with themselves and get on a budget. Like you're just going to have to like this economy is falling apart at the same Okay. It's falling apart at the seams. So there it is again. So do you a budget? Hey, Google, go to the next song. Oh, that's one of my dad's favorite songs. All right, let's see what we got. Music. Yes. Love it. Music is key. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read this one because I love music. Music. It could be my love language. I don't know. This card indicates a need to listen to music you enjoy in order to improve your health, well-being, and overall quality of life. Playing, singing, composing, or listening to beautiful music that fills your heart with joy automatically raises your vibration and enhances your connection to source because you attract what you feel in this magnetic vibrational world. When you consistently feel good, you can make your dreams come true. Music is the ultimate way to bring yourself into alignment because it only takes a few minutes to sing your favorite song in the shower rather than worry about your day. Listen to inspirational music while driving rather than stress about the traffic or play your favorite CD while you do housework. Not a favorite CD. When they made this. Because, okay. But yes. Music has the power to heal your body and your life. When you fill your heart with music, you can manifest your dreams. Indeed. And I know I've told this story multiple times, but the morning vibe started with me and music because I hated my job so much and my life hurt so bad and I wanted to die every day. <laughs> and I was like, if I'm going to stay here, I've got to figure out how to enjoy this thing. I have to figure out how to be able to live in my body without wanting to run away from it because of life's ebbs and flows. And I call myself successful because I live every day. And one thing I make sure that I do is listen to music because it is my medicine. No bullshit. Like I have with you. These eyes. Uh-oh. Candles fell over because cards fell on top of them. Excuse us. I have a bunch of shit. <laughs> I have a bunch of shit. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. But I like having a lot of cards. But you know what? I don't really use all of them. So maybe I don't need to keep all that stuff. Another thing that you could focus on with um, this new moon in Virgo. Where can you get rid of some stuff? I guess I could get rid of cards. I guess I could get rid of cards. I thought about selling some of those records too, because I have a lot of them, like tons. And I really don't listen to most of them. So I was like, maybe I'll sell some of these. I don't know. I guess I could. But then I 
of feel sometimes some type of way about it because I'm like, oh, these are my dad's records. Like, do I really want to sell them? But I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out. Maybe I need to sit and think about it. I'll ask for a sign. These are. If you want to buy records, let me know, viewer. Since you're just here viewing. You've been here this whole time. I still don't know who you are. I hate these circle cards trying to shuffle them. I feel like that is the strength card again. Because I feel like that's a lion behind this lady. Even though she also has a scorpion, a bird, a snake, wings, all types of shit. Okay, let's see. I gave that away. Okay, where is it? Come on, man. Okay, no, that's the world. Okay, a fairy sits with animals, birds, reptiles, and bugs under the light of a waxing moon. She protects all lives and understands how interconnected everything is. This card challenges us to understand the threads of the web that connects all aspects of life together. The fairy sits peacefully with a select representative of nature. She has great compassion. This gathering reminds us that we can live in harmony with one another without seeking to destroy. The circle of life is complete and the great work is done. Understanding the interconnectedness of all things, feeling complete and giving back to a community. Okay, so this is what I want to say about that. So like I was saying just about, um, I guess I was talking about this in this one. I don't know. Anyway, I'm about to say it. So it's like, you know, all your experiences. Yes, I was. Okay. All your experiences that, you know, you're using probably to stop you from moving forward and living your life and, and doing what it is that you need to do. Those experiences are designed to expand you in order for you to share with other people. So when it says giving back to community and recognizing the interconnectedness of life, it's like knowing that like, okay, I had this experience because it's going to help someone else one day. I mean, you've already had it. What you going to do? Go back in time and, and tell yourself not to get assaulted by that person or, you know, not to get in trouble. Like I was thinking about this last week. <laughs> And I was thinking about how I uh, had got in trouble because I beat up a boy. I was always beating up these boys because they were always fucking with me. And I was always in trouble for it. And like, because I was the person that had retaliated. But I was like, I'll be damned if these white boys are going to harass me at this school and y'all not going to say anything about it. And I felt a lot of shame for that for a lot of years because I was in the office and I remember one time this lady was like well do you feel any remorse and I didn't even know what the hell remorse meant I think I was in like third grade and I was like no and she told my mom she doesn't feel remorse like she was trying to paint me out to be somebody without feeling and bitch bitch I got a lot of feelings I probably got more feelings than other people Probably got too many damn feelings. Hell, my feelings is what got my ass in the office. Why are you talking about some damn? I don't have no remorse. But anyway, I mean, I grew up in that environment and had those experiences because I'm to help other children. Like at some point, I'm going to go to somebody's school and I'm going to talk to them kids about bullies and being picked on and what to do with your feelings instead of holding on to them until you're in your 30s. Like, you don't have to keep that, but who teaches kids how to release their emotions and not to hold on to that stuff? Like, where is that person? So if that person does not exist, then maybe that's my job. Maybe that's why I had that experience, you know, not for me to be like, everybody was mean to me and I was awkward and black and tall. 
And people picked on me constantly. Like, that's not why I had that com- that, that um, experience so that I could just talk about it and whine about it. No, it's, it's for me to do something with it. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. So I'm about to roll out of here. Where's my mouse? There it is. All right. So, yes, I will see you later. Don't be a self-hater. If you need anything, you know how to find me. And I wish you would have told me who you were, but it's okay that you didn't. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.